Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem A3 from 1985 Patna Math Competition. So here is the problem. Let X be a real number. Define a double sequence AIJ, which means it's a sequence with two indices, as follows. AI0 is X over 2 to the power of I for all integers I greater than or equal to 0. And AIJ plus 1 is AIJ squared plus 2 AIJ for all integers i and j greater than or equal to 0. And the question is, find the limit of a sub n n as n approaches infinity. So at this point, you may want to pause the video, think about this problem, and then come back and watch the rest of the video for a solution. So um, here is my thought process to get to a solution. So anytime I'm dealing with the sequences, I would start with evaluating the first few terms and see if there's a pattern. So the first term, a0, 0, I'm going to start with that. a0, 0 is going to be x over 2 to the power of 0, which is just x, and that's what I need. Then, in order to evaluate a11, I would need a10. a10 is x over 2, and then a11 is x over 2 squared plus 2 times x over 2. Okay, so this is suspiciously similar to the perfect square, and so is this one. So I will write this down as aij plus 1 squared and then minus 1. This might make things a bit easier to at least see. So this would be this squared and then minus 1. So that is a11. So let's evaluate a22. In order to do that, we need a20. a20 is x over 4. Um, a21 is a20 plus 1 squared and then minus 1. a22 would be a21 plus 1 squared and then minus 1. Now when I add 1, the negative 1 cancels and I would get x over 4 plus 1 squared and that would have to be squared and then minus 1. So that would give me x over 4 plus 1 to the power of 4 minus 1. Let's evaluate a3, 3. So a3, is x over 8 by the assumption. a3, 1 is going to be x over 8 plus 1 squared minus 1 and then a32 would be take this guy add 1 so x over 8 plus 1 squared add 1 and then square that and then subtract 1 a33 would be take this guy add 1 so the minus 1 cancels so we get x over 8 plus 1 to the power of 4 and then square and then subtract 1 so that's x over 8 plus 1 to the power of 8 minus 1. Okay, so at this point, the pattern doesn't seem very difficult to see. So how do we prove this one, in fact, in general? So if you look at this, there's actually quite a bit of pattern in general. So the first one is x over 8 in uh, for a30. The next one is x over 8 plus 1 squared minus 1. The next one is x over 8 plus 1 to the power of 4 minus 1 and the last one a33 is x over 8 plus 1 to the power of 8 minus 1. Okay so it looks like in general aij can be found by taking x over 2 to the i add 1 raised to the power of 2 to the j and then subtract 1. So this is the claim that I'm going to prove by induction by, indu by induction on j. So we will prove this by induction on j. Okay, so for j equals 0, a i 0 is given as x over 2 to the power of i, that's just the assumption, which is in fact x over 2 to the power of i plus 1 raised to the power of 1 minus 1. So that's given. Now a i um, a sub i j plus 1 by the recursion that they gave us is going to be a i j plus 1 squared minus 1. Now by inductive hypothesis we can substitute a i j plus 1 by x over 2 to the i plus 1 raised to the power of 2 to the j because a i j is that minus 1. And then we'll have to add 1, so we get that, and then square, and then subtract 1. So what we would get is x over 2 to the i plus 1 
raise the power of 2 to the j, and then square that, and then subtract 1. So this is exactly what we wanted. 2 to the power of j plus 1 minus 1. Okay, so we, we proved the claim by induction. So that means if I want to take the limit of a sub n n as n approaches infinity, I will have to take the limit as n approaches infinity of x over 2 to the power of n plus 1 raised to the power of 2 to the power of n minus 1. And that's what I need to evaluate. Now, you might be familiar with this limit, the first limit right here, um, this one. Um, this is, um, as you might know, this is actually e to the power of x. So let me, if you haven't seen this one, and if you don't remember this one, let me tell you how we can get to that. So the limit of x over m plus 1 to the power of m as m approaches infinity, this is equal to e to the power of x. Now, how do we do that? We can do that by taking natural log, because this is an uh, indeterminate form of 1 to the infinity. So x over m plus 1 to the m, that's the same as 1 to the infinity as m approaches infinity. Because x over m becomes 0, approaches 0, and the exponent approaches infinity, so that approaches 1 to, that becomes like 1 to the infinity. So we'll have to take the natural log. So we'll have to do natural log of x over m plus 1 multiplied by m, and m approaches infinity. So that's what we need to evaluate. The way we can evaluate this one would be to use L'Hopital's rule. So x over m plus 1 over 1 over m. As m approaches 0, x over m, as m approaches infinity, x over m approaches 0. So the numerator approaches 0, approaches natural log of 1, which is 0. And the denominator approaches 0. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So we get the limit as m approaches infinity. In the denominator, we have negative 1 over m squared. In the numerator, we have derivative of uh, x over m plus 1 over x over m plus 1. Now, as m approaches infinity, we can first cancel the m squared and the negative sign. So this cancels, negative 1 cancels. And x over m approaches 0 since m approaches infinity. So this approaches 1. Uh, this approaches uh, x times 1, which is x. So that means the limit that we had at the beginning, since we took the natural log, it would have to be e to the power of x as m approaches infinity. So going back and looking at what we had, limit of a n n as n approaches infinity, this is going to be the limit of x over 2 to the power of n plus 1 to the power of 2 to the power of n minus 1 as n approaches infinity. So 2 to the power of n approaches infinity. Therefore, the first limit is going to be e to the power of x, and then we have a minus 1. So then the answer would be e to the power of x minus 1. And that brings you to the end of this solution. I will see you in the next video.